Hi dear students, welcome back to our channel Anvin Kumar Basics of Physics. Dear students, in this video we are going to discuss about the one of the most important long answer question in the chapter of waves. Waves chapter lo manamu discuss chayabotra di one most important long answer question that is Doppler effect, 8 mass question. So, this is a lot of repeated answer. So, this video is 8 marks. So, you can skip this video. You can skip this video. You skip this video. You can 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 skip this video. Continue to follow our channel and follow our channel and you will help our channel. Okay, so see the question, Doppler effect. What is the question? What is Doppler shift? Obtain an expression for the apparent frequency of sound here when the observer is in motion. When the observer is in motion with respect to the source at rest. What is Doppler shift? Doppler shift and day and day. Obtain an expression for the apparent frequency of sound here when the observer is in motion, what is the condition? Observer is in motion and uh, with respect to the source at rest. Observe more to source rest low on up to manamo apparent frequency ki dere, manam the equation derive Chelsea untundi. That is the question. So, children, what is Doppler effect? First, we have to know about that. The apparent change in frequency here by the observer when the source and observer both are in relative motion that is called doppler effect the apparent change in frequency oka observer observer vine 20 frequency lo changes osthayata eppudu when the source and observer both are in relative motion observer plus and source, if you are in relative motion, you are in observer, observe the apparent frequency, you are in the change in the frequency, you are in the Doppler effect, the apparent change in frequency heard by the observer, when the source and observer both are in relative motion, that is what we call Doppler effect, and now here, what is mean by Doppler shift? The difference of actual frequency and apparent frequency is called Doppler shift. There is some difference in frequency. Which frequency is actual frequency produced by the source and the apparent frequency observed by the observer. Okay, source produces in a 20 frequency. Mario, the observing is of frequency. R and frequency is the difference in the Doppler shift. The difference of actual frequency produced by the source and the frequency observed by the observer. That is what we call Doppler shift. So, for that one example it is there. Look at the diagram. Here, this is the railway station and he is the one observer. Nothing but he is waiting for a train at the railway platform. This is the railway station and he is the observer. When the train is at far off the railway station or railway platform, he can he can listen the very less amount of sound here simply when the train the whistling train the train driver is blows a horn continuously then it is what you have to take a whistling train when a whistling train is far away far away from the railway station then the can then the observer can <coughs> listen small amount of sound when the train approaches the platform he can observe that the frequency of sound, the sound is going to be increased and when the train is at long distance, he can hear the less sound, when the train approaches towards the railway station, he can observe the more sound, sound is increased and again when the train is moving away from the station, he can again listen to the less amount of sound. So, but actually there is no change in actual sound produced by the train horn. Why? What is the difference there? The frequency here by the observer is changes. The difference that is what we call Doppler shift. Actual frequency produced by the train is, just imagine, it can produce as the 1500 hedges, 1500 hedges. 
when the train is at the far of the railway platform the observer can receive the only 1000 hedges only 1000 hedges clear so then what is the difference actual frequency is what 1500 hedges and observer can receive the 1000 hedges the difference of these two is called here now doppler shift clear children ఒక రైలు అనేది రైల్వే ప్లాట్ నుంచి దూరంగా ఉన్నప్పుడు ఆ ట్రైన్ అనేది విజిల్ హార్న్ బ్లో చేసుకుంటూ వస్తున్నప్పుడు అతను వినేటువంటి ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ మారుతూ ఉంటుంది కానీ ఆ ట్రైన్ ఎంత ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీని ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేయాలో అంత ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీని ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేస్తుంది అప్పుడు ఆ ట్రైన్ యొక్క న్యాచురల్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీకి యాక్చువల్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీకి ఇతను వినేటువంటి ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ మధ్య డిఫరెన్స్ ఏమంటాం డాప్లర్ షిఫ్ట్ అని అంటాము so children now we have to derive the expression for apparent frequency when the source is at rest and observer is in motion let's go for that children now we have to derive the expression for apparent frequency so in that question what is the given situation source is at rest and observer is in motion source is at rest and observer is in motion so that is the case here what is the case observer is in motion and source is at rest in that again subsiding observer is moving towards stationary observer so children now we have to look at this diagram in the diagram s means source source of sound o means observer or listener clear when the source and observer both are at rest both are at rest then nu is the actual frequency what is nu is the actual frequency and what is lambda wavelength of wave wavelength of sound wave clear when the source and observer both are at rest the frequency here by the observer is lambda nu and the wavelength is what is lambda and after that children when the observer is moving towards the observer is moving towards stationary source then with velocity v not let observer observer is moving with velocity moving with velocity v not towards source towards source so obviously when the observer is moving towards the source then the number of waves received by the observer will increase clear what is frequency the number of waves produced by the source per second what it is called frequency here for example you have to remember when both are at rest source is at the operating condition and o is the observer both are at rest then he can he can observe the nearly thousand hedges or thousand waves just imagine when the source is at the operating condition and o is the observer and both are at rest and they are separated some distance of lambda then the observer can receive the thousand waves thousand waves when the observer is moving towards with velocity v not then he can listen the 1200 waves 1200 waves it means that what because when he was moving towards the source the number of waves received by the observer will increase got it children source observer rest lo undi kontha distance lo separated ga unnapudu manaki athu vine waves and frequency enta 1000 eppudaithe manaki observer ane vaadu source topic move avutunnado vaadu vine 20 number of waves anevi increase avutayi so like that in this case observer observer can listen or hear v not by lambda additional waves v not by lambda additional waves when compared to the new so observer can listen the new v not by lambda additional waves along with new along with new so that's why here when he was moving towards the source obviously the frequencies changes that's why here we will write apparent frequency apparent frequency that is nu dash is equals to already what we know 
nu is the actual frequency in addition that he can listen the waves v not by lambda clear this is the now actual frequency is nu and he can listen the additional waves how many v not by lambda waves he can listen more than the nu that's why the apparent frequency should be like this so then we can write nu dash is equals to nu plus v not by lambda what we know v is equals to nu lambda it is there from that what write lambda is equals to v by nu we can write v by nu we can write so already we know the formula v is equals to nu lambda v is the velocity nu is the frequency and lambda is the wavelength then what write lambda is equals to v by nu that's why instead of lambda what you have to write v by nu you have to write that means nu dash is equals to nu plus v not by v of nu we can write clear then obviously here what you have to write children nu dash is equals to here nu is the common then nu of 1 plus v not by v 1 plus v not by v then do lcm nu dash is equals to v plus of v not by v into nu so now this is the expression for apparent frequency what it is that expression for apparent frequency what is nu dash apparent frequency what is nu actual frequency that's why here what do you have to write nu dash is greater than nu in this case because in numerator we are writing v plus v not that's why the apparent frequency is greater than the actual frequency when the observer is moving towards source so this is the expression for apparent frequency when the observer is moving towards stationary source now we have to check it how the apparent frequency can changes when the observer is moving away from the source ee observer ane vadu source nunchi dooranga velthe appude em aidho chudam children up to what we discussed expression for apparent frequency when the observer is moving towards stationary source so to derive the expression for apparent frequency when the observer is moving away from source సోర్స్ నుంచి అబ్జర్వర్ దూరంగా వెళుతున్నప్పుడు మనకి ఈక్వేషన్ కావాలి అంటే సింపుల్గా ఈ డెరివేషన్లో మనం ఎంతమంది ఏదైనా డిస్కస్ చేసామో అదే డెరివేషన్లో ఎక్కడైతే ప్లస్ ఉంటుందో అక్కడ మైనస్ రాస్తే సరిపోతుంది సో అప్పుడు ఆటోమేటిక్ డెరివేషన్ వచ్చేస్తుంది సో అదేంటో చూద్దాం ఒకసారి వెరీ సింపుల్ ఇప్పటివరకు అర్థమై ఉంటే ఇది చాలా సింపుల్ అవుతుంది లుక్ యూర్ నవ్ అబ్జర్వర్ ఈస్ మూవింగ్ అవే ఫ్రమ్ ది స్టేషనరీ సోర్స్ యాజ్ యూజువల్ when source and observer both are at rest initially the actual frequency is lambda sorry new actual frequency is nu and wavelength is lambda clear children now what i am telling here this is the position of the observer now he was moving with the speed v not in opposite direction that means moving away from the source so the observer is moving away from the source with the speed of v not then obviously when the observer is moving towards the source he can receives the more number of waves in the same manner here when the observer is moving away from the source he can lose the number of waves meek indha munu cheppanu first manaki 1000 waves reach avutundi anukondi eppudaithe observer ane divide postunnado source vai postunnado vaadu 1200 waves vintunnadu ante 200 extra gain ayindi ఇప్పుడు ఏమంటున్నాను ఆల్రెడీ ఫస్ట్ థౌజండ్ వేవ్స్ వింటున్నాడు ఇప్పుడు దూరం వెళ్ళిపోతున్నాడు కాబట్టి నవ్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు రైట్ సమ్ ఎయిట్ హండ్రెడ్ అంటే ఈజ్ లూజింగ్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ వేవ్స్ క్లియర్ దట్స్ వై హియర్ వాట్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సే నవ్ ఈ సింప్లీ వెన్ ద అబ్జర్వర్ ఈస్ మూవింగ్ అవే ఫ్రమ్ ద సోర్స్ హీ కెన్ లూజ్ ఎస్ సమ్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ వేవ్స్ దట్ నెంబర్ ఈస్ వీ నాట్ బై లాండా so here let observer is moving with velocity v not away from the source away from the source away from source observer can lose observer can lose v not by lambda number of waves v not by lambda number of waves so in the mundu evrasamo when the observer is moving towards the stationary observer 
he can receives the more number of v naught by lambda number of waves in addition to the new now he can lose the waves how many v naught by lambda that's why here we have to write this is the minus nu dash is equal to nu minus v naught by lambda the actual frequency is going to be decrease why because the observer can lose the waves so obviously we can go for the derivation like this here minus again minus 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 like that nu dash is equal to nu minus v naught by v why because lambda is equal to we have to substitute v by nu here v is equal to nu lambda formula from the quadrate lambda is equal to v by nu that's why we substitute instead of lambda what do you write v by nu substitute then what do you write nu dash is equal to nu minus v naught by v of nu from that what do you write here again we have to lcm what do we get 1 minus v naught by v that means what do we get as v minus v naught by nu we will get so in this case in denominator v minus v naught is there in sorry in numerator value what is v minus v naught that should be what is decreases that's why apparent frequency also decreases that's why here what right nu dash is less than the nu when the observer is moving away from the source the apparent frequency equation is what v minus v naught by v nu and what i'm saying going to say here apparent frequency apparent frequency is less than the actual frequency so children this is about the deviation of apparent frequency when the source is at rest and observer is in motion so children if you can understand this one like share comment the video and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get all the notifications okay thank you